Hello there, and welcome to the ultimate guide to installing mods for Minecraft. Now, I'm doing this because on my channel I post loads and loads of mod reviews, um, and I haven't really told anyone how to install mods, so if you don't have a clue how to install them, uh, this is the right video for you. Now, before I go on, I should probably say uh, what happens if something goes wrong whilst installing a mod, which is kind of a big concern for a few people, which might put them off installing mods. They might think they might have to buy it again, or download it again, or something confusing like that, but Honestly, it is no trouble whatsoever. All you have to do is open up Minecraft, hit this options button here, click on it, force update, click that, done, log in, and that will basically download um, all of the packages again uh, to run Minecraft. And then no matter if you've got a black screen or what, just do this and then log in and everything is fine. Um, it basically updates everything. The only thing you will lose, I can guarantee you won't lose any of your maps or anything like that. You'll lose uh, your achievements, uh, but they're really not that important to me. If there are something that's important to you, just make sure you install it right. Uh, so as you can see, we're just downloading all of our packages. It goes quite quickly. Um, in the time I've been talking, we're already at 90%, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, bit of mass here, and then done. So as you can see, we get the Mojang screen, and then in any second now, we'll just go back to the normal Minecraft screen if it doesn't freeze, because sometimes after you force update, Minecraft does decide to randomly crash, like I think it's done now, as you can see it's gone to not responding. However, if you just close that down, like so, just open up Minecraft again, log in, and everything will be perfect. I don't know why it does that, it's a 1.5 thing, it never happened for 1.4 or below, uh, but as you can see now, everything is working perfectly. So, there are a few ways for installing mods on Minecraft. Um, most mods will use a base, so it's kind of hard to imagine, but basically complicated mods will have a base and then you need to put the mod on top of the base um, so that both of them will work. Some mods do not need a base. Um, for example, Optifine, uh, you basically just shove everything into your jar and that's all you have to do. Uh, and that is the best kind of mod for me because it's really simple to install. However, the bases are Mod Loader and Forge Mod Loader. Forge Mod Loader is used 99% of the time, however there are some awkward mods which use Mod Loader. Now, Mod Loader mods do not work with Forge Mod Loader, and you cannot have Forge Mod Loader installed at the same time as you can Mod Loader. So, you've got to pick one or the other, definitely go with Forge because most mods, 99% are Forge. So, to install a mod you need a program called 7-Zip or WinRAR, most people use um, one of those two. I'm going to give you a link to download 7-Zip because that's what I personally use and I think it's amazing. Now what we have to do is open it twice, so open it once there, right click on it again and you can open it again by clicking that, and drag one to the left and drag one to the right, it's nice and simple with Windows 7, if you remember that advert, Windows 7 was my idea, just snap things to each side, uh, but as you can see, you need to get to this place here, so how do you get to users p app data roaming minecraft, you may be asking, and if you look at the tab on the left, I'll do it over here, basically you just need to go out, and get to your C drive, or it doesn't really matter, you can find it your own way, but this is how I do it, I just go up, and then users, and then your username, I'm Pete, hey, uh, up the top you'll have app data, and that's the one you want, so click on that, at the bottom you'll have roaming, click on that, and then you're good, so as you can see here, we have .minecraft, just go in there, and you'll get to exactly the same place as you need to be. Now, you need to go into your bin, because that's kind of the most important place for installing mods, and you'll see a thing here called minecraft.jar, you need to be in 7-zip whilst trying to do this, because otherwise you cannot get into Minecraft.jar and you cannot change anything. But basically, just double click on that, you'll see a folder called meta-inf, it's all in caps, nice, big, easy to see. Delete it. That's a must. Are you sure you want to delete the contents of meta-inf and all of its contents? That I read that wrong completely there, but basically just click OK, get rid of it, because that's what gives you the black screen. Now, Minecraft will now work perfectly without um, uh, meta-inf. And now you need to go install the mod. So we're going to be using Forge Mod Loader. Um, you install Mod Loader the same way as Forge Mod Loader, so I won't show you how to install them both. Uh, but basically, just find where you've got the mod saved. If you're wondering why it says Mods 1.2.5, I don't know. I honestly don't know. I haven't changed that name for ages. But if you can find Minecraft Forge, here it is. This is what it looks like. It's just a load of class files and some folders. As you can see, they've thrown in a folder called MetaInf, which is kind of confusing. Uh, but you do need that this time, so click on any of these files, it really doesn't matter which. Hit Control and A on your keyboard, it will select everything. Um, if you want to select everything a different way, fair play. 
Uh, but basically you need all of these files here. Now, as you can see, you want to drag it into the white space. That's very important. You don't want to put it in a folder. It needs to be in this white space here. Just let go. It will copy it all across. Confirm file copy. Yes. Done. As you can see, we have a few more files. The one with the dates, uh, they're the ones that you've just put in. And everything will now work perfectly if I go ahead and launch my Minecraft. Just wait for it to launch. Hopefully my computer won't run too slow today. Uh, you Okay, this is an important bit. As you just saw, it had a little box which said forge, mod loader, setting up environments, a load of stuff like that. If it's the first time you've used it, it'll take a little bit longer, maybe just 10 seconds, probably less. And then basically it does that every time you launch Minecraft with the forge mod loader. I'm not too sure why. Now, as you can see, the layout looks a bit different. We have a mods button here, which is kind of handy. And it will tell you what mods you've got installed. As you can see, it when you install forge, it gives you Minecraft code pack. And if you click on it, it will actually tell you a little bit now, uh, a little bit more about what the mod does. Uh, we've got Forge Mod Loader, again, a little bit more information. Uh, Minecraft Forge, which is the one we just did, but just install one of them and you'll get all three of them, so it's nice. We've also got a Hats mod. Now, I also, I already had that mod installed. Um, you probably won't, you definitely won't. Uh, but what you need to do now, as you can see, everything's working. So, how did I install that Hats mod, you may be wondering. So open up your 7-zips again, and you need to get back to your Minecraft bin. So if I go up, it's really quick just to get there once you know what you're doing. And as you can see here, we have a folder called Mods. Now if you don't have that, you need to make it. So just right-click, New Folder, Create Folder, F7. And once you click that, you need to type Mods into here. If you've already got one, don't do this. If you haven't, you need to create it. Don't comment below saying, I don't have a mods folder, because you need to make it. Make your mods folder, and then I'm not going to do that, because I already got it. And then basically, you get a forge mod, and you pop it in there. Okay, so I've deleted um, this hats mod from my mods folder, and the way you install a mod with Minecraft Forge is super duper easy. Install forge, as I just showed you, and then in this mods folder, you need to put something in there. You put the mod in there. So if I find my mod over here, we've got hats 1.0.0.zip. Um, inside it we've got a load of other stuff, you really don't want to be looking inside it because it'll just confuse me, trust me. So all you have to do with Forge, just drag it across like that. Hats, it's installed now, it's absolutely that easy. So literally, just drag it into your mods folder, which we've got here, and everything is complete. So as you can see, if I go ahead and launch Minecraft, uh, let's just wait for it to load. As you can see, we've got this Forge mod loader setting up the environment again. And once you load, any time today would be nice. Okay, there we go. As you can see, four mods active. Uh, there we go. Single player, just go into any world. Really doesn't matter, just to try it out. If I hit H when we load. Oh, this is my exploded world, my bad. And as you can see, you can pick a hat. So the hats mod is working, as you can probably tell. This definitely isn't in default Minecraft. Um, so as you can see, everything is working normally, except we've got a hat, which is a pretty cool feature. Okay, so the mod is now installed, as you can probably tell. You can just close that. And that's how you install a mod using Minecraft Forge. It's really simple. Now, with Mod Loader, I'm not going to show you that because most times you will not have to do it. Uh, but instead of in putting the mod into your... Um, let me just open this up again so I can give you some sort of visual demonstration because it's kind of complicated. Uh, if you go into your Minecraft.jar, this is how you do Mod Loader. You need Mod Loader installed. And then you need the mod. So this is already in my mods folder. I won't be doing anything. This is just a demonstration. But basically, you just go in there, copy everything inside the zip folder into your uh, minecraft.jar, and then run Minecraft, and everything will work perfectly. So you do need to pay a lot of attention to whether it is a mod loader or a forge mod loader mod. Okay, so as you probably remember at the beginning of the video, I said you can install mods using installers. So there are loads and loads of different websites of installers and things like that, but the one I recommend is skydaz.com. There'll be a link in the description. And basically it has a huge collection of different mods, and each one of them has an installer. So if you want to find uh, the mods, obviously you can search for the one you want up here, or you can just go skydaz installers and see every single one they have from Minecraft 1.5.1, which is what we're on at the moment. So here we go, we've got Explodables, Enchanting Plus, barrels, there are loads and loads, and you can just choose whichever one you think looks nice. 
Uh, I think Explodables sounds fun, so we're going to go ahead and click on that. So as you can see, it just gives you a load of videos which tell you what the mod does. It gives you a brief description. And down here, you need to scroll to the bottom. It has a big thing which says Downloads. And it has three buttons. Download from original thread, which will take you to where the mod um, was made and the official thread for it. Uh, it has download here.zip, which is you can download the installer, or you can download here.exe, and that is the one I would do. So just go ahead and click on download here.exe. As you can see down here, it's downloading. It doesn't take too long. These things are really small. Unfortunately, you guys, this does not work for Mac. Uh, so this is why I'll say you need to know how to install a mod manually. So if we go ahead and run uh, this mod, as you can see, it says security warning, but just go ahead, click run. I do it all the time. I have no viruses. I'm happy. So as you can see, it opens up this tiny little window and it has install, support the mod or install mod. Click install, really simple. Don't bother backing up your Minecraft. That takes ages and it doesn't do anything helpful. So just click no. It will say loading package and that green bar will go along. It doesn't take too long. It's going quite slowly at the moment, but it goes faster in a minute, trust me. So we just need to wait for this. And this will install Forge or Mod Loader, or Mod Loader, whichever one it needs itself, and it will install the mod as well. So obviously, um, you don't need to install uh, anything really uh, manually if you're using an installer. So as you can see, it's doing adding resources, and then bars jumped a long way. Any second now, it will be done. Clean up, just making sure there aren't any stupid files. And there we go, Explodables mod installed. That's all you have to do. If you don't if you're a bit scared, I highly recommend you do this because it's super simple. You don't even need to delete meta inf. So as you can see, it's installed Forge for us. I did force update uh, whilst you weren't looking. So obviously this was on a clean Minecraft. And any second now, once Mojang, Mojang even, goes away. Any second now, here we go. Five mods loaded this time. So as you can see, we've got explodables. We've still got hats. So if you force update your Minecraft, you will still have a mod in your mods folder. Um, but that won't actually make any difference unless you've got a Forge mod loader installed. So as you can see, I've run this world with the Mutant Creatures mod, and Forge mod loader has detected this, and it's saying that some of the stuff from a different mod is missing. Uh, but you probably won't get that. But if you do, you just click yes and load the world anyway. It doesn't really make any difference. And as you can see here, we're in our world, and all you have to do is change your game mode, that would be nice to game mode 1, and I can show you, hopefully, all of the um, new blocks have been added, if I can find them, I don't know where they're going to be, I haven't used this mod before, um, here we go, here's a reinforced glass, which is definitely new, but this is just to show you that the mod is working, as you can see, well, I haven't got a clue what's going on, but the mod has worked and it's installed perfectly easy, so if you can't install a mod and you're having a bit of trouble, I highly re recommend that you just go to Skydaz and run one of the installs there. It's super simple and it works easy as pie. So that is my ultimate guide to installing mods for Minecraft. It's, I hope I explained it simply enough for you. And if I did and you got things working, please feel free. Please feel free. Please feel free. That's a bit of a tongue twister that. But please feel free to leave a like. Subscribe if you want. You can check out some of my mod reviews in the description. Well, I'll put you a link to a playlist. So, thanks for watching, guys. Um, Control, signing out.